Now, Rosen Method Bodywork is a gentle, hands-on discipline that allows for a deep and profound relaxation in the client that's receiving the work. The Rosen Method is being present with another human being using touch. The Rosen Practitioner is with the client in a caring way, in a non-judgmental way. The purpose of Rosen Method Bodywork is to touch a person in a gentle and respectful way so that they can have a felt inner sense of themselves so they can get to know themselves better. The touch and presence of the practitioner allows the person under their hands to listen to themselves from the inside out. The heart of Rosen Method bodywork is remembering who you are. And out of that, you find more possibilities of how to live your life with freedom and with ease so the kind of touch that we use is a present touch. It's kind. It's a listening touch. So when you find yourself being touched by someone who's a Rosen practitioner, there's a sense of safety that you get that helps you unfold, relax your muscles, and often come in touch with parts of yourselves that you weren't familiar with or had forgotten about. When we're born healthy and we come into this world, we move from the top of our head to the tip of our toes with every breath we take. And as we begin to get a little older, as long as we feel safe, there's going to be a movement within us that is natural and easy. But if we don't feel safe for any reason, we start to put ourselves away. And we do that with our muscles. We just start to hold back and hold down. And when we do that, it affects the diaphragm, our breathing muscle. This means that we start to make ourselves smaller than we really are. And we lose that natural ability, that natural flexibility that we have in life to deal with our life situations. You are there seeing the other person, providing a safe, space for that person to be whoever they are. The biggest thing I've experienced is when someone is really present with you, but there's something about that when you don't feel alone with your deepest feelings or sorrows or pain, that is very healing. And it brings Rap. And for the first time, I could really actually feel my breath, and I felt alive. And I said, that's what I want. Mary and Rosen trained as a physical therapist. While she was in Germany, she studied breath work. And then when she got to the United States, she began to put together the physical therapy and the breath work. And really what sets Rosen Method apart from other modalities is that interest in the breath, the curiosity about the breath, because when you tighten anywhere in your body, you tighten up your diaphragm muscle, and that's the breathing muscle. And so in the, in the session, when people breathe, they take a breath, or muscles relax, we know that something has shifted inside. I think that's a cornerstone idea of the work that we do, is that sense that there's something going on where the muscles may be holding. Marion Rosen discovered that people who injured themselves actually injured themselves where they were holding their muscles tight. And then when she started to do physical therapy with those people and touch those places, memories and emotional experiences came out. When I went to see her in 1978, and she put her hands on me, her touch was gentle, and it allowed me to relax in a way that I probably had not relaxed since I was an infant. It reminded me of my mother's hand on my back. Mother's Center that offers Rosen Method classes provides training and continuing education from people from all walks of life. 
people like therapists, uh, psychologists, nurses, doctors, clergy, teachers, all of, all of these uh, groups of people that work with others uh, come to this training to understand themselves and how to relate. Truly the most important aspect is what each person gains of themselves from this training. And it creates community. It can make, really creates um, a, a closeness with this many people coming together and all the unfolding happens. And people learn how to listen and sit with another person and really respect what they're seeing and hearing. We learn how to listen to ourselves when events happen that are uncomfortable or painful so that we can ask ourselves, how do I want to respond to this? I'm fascinated by how this kind of redefines what we used to refer to many, many years ago as the mind-body problem. If you think about it for a minute, the things that you actually know, that you trust, are quite often not in your head at all. You know, you have a feeling about something. I'm fascinated by the fact that your body tries to tell you stuff and you don't listen. There's a half second delay, incidentally, in the nervous system so that your body knows stuff before your brain actually registers it. And it's really important to feel your emotions so that you know what choices to make in your life, to make choices that are good for you, not for someone else. Most of us go through life thinking that we should be a certain way and that we're not really paying attention to what is important to us. The heart of Rosen Method Body Work is remembering who you are. And when that happens, everybody around you benefits.